functional fun. Spring and summer is all about doing physical activities, whether it's outdoors or indoors. We tend to do a lot more sports, play with our kids, our grandchildren, our friends, and be more physically active. And this is what this whole routine is all about. We want to make these events and activities a lot more enjoyable for you. So what we're doing today is doing routines that are functional in nature, meaning that it's very much targeted to help you improve your ability to do those activities. I'm so excited for you to start. Let's get ready starting with a nice warm up to get that blood flowing and that oxygenated blood flowing through your body. Are you ready? Let's go. All right, in 15 seconds, we're gonna start with my favorite warm up, the arm swings. So we're gonna swing our arms across our body, wrapping it around, going with momentum, but I really want you to pivot that foot. All right, here we go. Swing, let momentum carry your arms across your body, wrapping it around, and we're pivoting our foot so that we're not causing any unnecessary torque on our knees. And we're gonna breathe, inhaling through our nose, exhaling through our mouth. Today's routines, today's exercises are gonna be 45 seconds long with a 15 second break. And we're doing a variety of sports or summer activity inspired exercises. All right, now we're gonna do uh, arm circles. We have a lot of upper body exercises that we're gonna work on, so we just wanna warm that part of our body. All right, so arms spread in a T pose position and we're going in the reverse direction. And when I say so, we're gonna switch sides when it starts to burn because typically this exercise has that effect, even on me. All right, medium sized circles. And then we're gonna do large circles to the front right now. Uh, that feels a lot better. They are already starting to burn, but that's normal. As I mentioned, we're gonna do a lot of exercises that requires our arms and shoulders. So we're getting it all warmed up. All right, now to warm up our entire body and a little bit of our low body, we're just going to do a nice light jog. When I say light jog, I want you to go at a pace that you find light. So for me, this is a light jog, but for you, it could be faster, it could be slower, and it could also do a light march as well. It's really up to you. The idea here is just to get the heart rate up, get those lower body, feet, legs, calves, all nice and warm. Maybe you're gonna start breaking into a sweat. That's totally fine. That's what we're here for. Spring, summer, the weather is becoming nicer and nicer every day, so we also gotta get used to that heat a little bit. All right. <sighs> 10 more seconds, and then we're gonna start our main workout, doing something light. All right, our main workout is very much summer inspired. We're doing some swimming, starting with a freestyle swim, which is simply a front stroke. So we're reaching forward, pulling the water back, twisting our body slightly. Always do what you can. Now, just like those arm circles, you might start feeling that burn in your shoulders. Feel free to just Stop at any time, shake it off, and then continue. Remember, there's no pressure ever. You can pause, you can stop it, resume the next day. You showed up today, that's all that matters. Go at your own pace, always. You might hear some cracking. I'm hearing a little bit of cracking on my end. All right, next. We're continuing with swimming, but we're gonna do the backstroke. And this one, I want you to go a little slower. I don't want you to harm your shoulders. So we're simply reaching back, 
stroking the water. Our head kind of follows the direction of our hand and arms. Now I'm not a professional swimmer, so if you are or you know someone that is a professional swimmer, obviously this technique is not actually for swimming, but it mimics it. It's inspired by it and that's the point of this challenge and this routine. But if ever you do decide to jump in the pool, this will definitely help with that activity. All right, great job. Moving on to the next one, we got some skipping or jump rope, but I'd like to call it the invisible skip rope. So pretend that you have that rope in your hand and you're not going to jump, but you're just simply going to pump those calves. You're gonna raise those heels off the floor. All right, we're doing that for a few seconds, then we're gonna switch it up. Still skipping, but doing a, something a little different with our feet. All right. Now, if you want to jump, you can always do that if you want to take it to the next level. But for now, we're doing this. All right, now I want you to lift those knees up. Still skipping. Pretend that you have that imaginary jump rope. Obviously, it would hit your foot, your other foot, but it's okay. In our minds, we are jumping. All right, up next, one of my favorite moves, we're gonna do some, a little bit of boxing, a little bit of jabbing, uppercuts. We're going to punch, punch, uppercut, uppercut. Punch, punch, uppercut, uppercut. I really need you to be strong on your legs. So shoulder width apart, knee slightly bent, punch, punch, uppercut, uppercut. We're continuing on. Now be careful not to punch yourself in the face. Focus. Now I'm not a professional boxer, but I do have a friend who is a boxer and I might have him on the app still talking with him, but would you like to have a beginner boxing course? That would be cool. All right, that's it. All right, now this is a fun one. I played baseball for a good part of my childhood, so we're gonna do some baseball swings in both directions, okay? So, baseball stance, feet shoulder width apart, pivot, swing, and pivot, but immediately we're gonna swing to the other side. So, you know, this is unconventional for baseball, but it is inspired. We are batting both sides. This is great for your core. So I really need you to focus on that twist. You're gonna feel it in your abdominals, in your obliques. Focus on that, think about those muscles. Those are the muscles right here. That's what's doing most of the work when it comes to the actual twist. Good, all right. Same type of movement, but this time golf inspired. So swing upward, okay, down and up. Follow through, all right. Same thing, exactly the same movement with your feet, you're pivoting. Now you see me barefoot, those pivots might burn for you depending on the condition of your feet. So please, by all means, if you need to wear shoes when you work out, do so. I'm comfortable going barefoot, especially with these yoga mats. They're not really yoga mats, they're these foam mats that I placed all throughout this room. It's very comfortable on my feet. I don't know what they're called, I just found them on Amazon. They're kind of like uh, square blocks that you could attach. There was no specific brand. They're very affordable, so if you're looking into that, I think you'll like them. All right. Okay, so those were baseball and golf swings. Now we're gonna move on to some inline skating. So, strong on one leg, 
We're gonna step and swing, follow through with that back leg. Kind of like you're skating. It's almost like rollerblading, roller rink skating. So this is a slow version. I'm really focusing on keeping my balance, but you can also go fast like this. You can continue that momentum like you're going fast. And then as you get better, you can start doing a little hop. If you follow my beginner and advanced exercises, which are also available on the app, me and Kathleen have a side to side outdoor workout where we do exercises like that. So check it out. Okay, skating, that was a lot of fun. I really like that move. Up next, we got some rowboat. Okay, so this is very much your upper back and a good stretch for your chest. So imagine you have oars, you're on a boat, you have two oars and you're rowing. And when you come back, when you pull back, I really want you to pull and, and contract those back muscles. It's really important. You're gonna feel it. Just doing this move, you're gonna feel it in your back. But if you can squeeze for me, that would be amazing. That's how you really engage those muscles. All right, just as it's about to burn, we're switching on. We're staying on a boat, a different boat, a kayak this time. So I don't know if you've ever been kayaking. I've been a couple of times. One paddle and we are going from one side of the boat, digging into the water to the next. And when we're doing these exercises, remember, your legs are strong, your knees are slightly bent, just to give yourself a good foundation, just to help you balance Especially this type of movement, it kind of destabilizes you. So we're teaching our legs to keep us nice and strong so that we're not kind of wobbly, right? A little twist as you are paddling, digging into the water. If you ever want to go on the river, on the lake, don't be intimidated to grab that kayak after a few sessions. <laughs> All right, as I mentioned, this one is a lot of upper body. So if you feel like you need to shake it off, shake it off. All right, the last one is a little bit uh, tricky because it requires a bit of balance, but we're kind of, I call it rock climbing. You can also call it ladder climbing. So we're reaching up, opposite knee goes up as well. Reaching up, opposite knee. Now you don't have to go as high as me. You can just do this if you have trouble with balance, but eventually you're gonna to wanna to bring those knees up. It's more, kind of, it's more of a ladder climb than rock climbing, but you know, we wanna make it summer activity themed. Now this will help with your stabilizer muscles, which are so important when doing activities and sports. You wanna stay on your feet, not fall, not hurt yourself. So this is good practice. If you need something next time to help you balance, bring a chair. All right, and that's it for the main workout. If you enjoyed it, you wanna do it again, just rewind it, do another round, but we're gonna go into our little cool down. Like, we, like I mentioned, we used our upper body a lot. So we're gonna do a nice stretch for our upper body, this is, this is the hug and twist. You can feel the stretch in your shoulders and in your back. And it's just so calming. You're giving yourself a nice self hug and twisting a bit for your spine to decompress it. Now the goal here is not to crack your back. It's really just to give it a nice little stretch. Great. Now we're going to stretch our, continue with our shoulders. We use them a lot, but also we're gonna open up that chest, what we call the handcuff. So as if you're being handcuffed. 
We're gonna hold it like this during the whole stretch, but then we're going to drop our neck back slightly and we're gonna breathe. I'm not gonna talk. Open up those shoulders. All right, and as always, we're gonna shake it off, lift your feet off the ground, shake that upper body, let loose, bend down a bit. Stand straight, shake, shake those ankles, shake those feet, that hands, breathe, and call it a day. Thank you so much for doing this routine. I hope you had fun. I had a blast. This one is one of my favorite. I hope you enjoy your spring, your summer. You get stronger for those activities. I'll see you next time. Remember, consistency is key. So proud of you. Have a good day.